Hi everybody, welcome at the racing circuit. We are currently at the racing circuit of Zandvoort in Holland. And uh, today I'm gonna, I'm gonna race. It's just as simple as that. And uh, it's a hobby I started a year ago. Mijn naam is Peter Tomwijk. Ik ben organisator van ACNN. ACNN is een uh, organisatie die zich inzet voor uh, low budget racing. Robert rijdt in de Aprisco Cup. En de Aprisco Cup is een uh, cup van BMW's die gesponsord wordt door Aprisco. It's a good cup for beginners. It's a, a cup where you all drive the same car. Or more or less the same car. Het is een uh, nationale race. Uh, je kunt geen wereldkampioen worden. Alright, I think uh, I'm ready for the training now. Well, training just means that you're going to do a few laps and to, uh, to check the, the track. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So, come on. All right, from here you can see a bit of the track, but you can also see where this circuit is located. My uh, friend, he's now driving because we're sharing the same car. He will now start the training and after a few laps he will get in and then, uh, then we'll change and I get a chance to do a few laps. Now let's see if we can see Raymond come by. Oh yeah, there, there he's coming. White car there. I think what we'll be doing now is we'll go down to the, to the pit lane and uh, see where uh, the, the guys, the, the technicians from our team are. And there I will be waiting until Raymond gets in again and I can do a few laps. So let's go there. So now I have to find my car. So the car we're driving with is uh, just a regular street car, but there has been done some modifications to make it suitable for racing. All in the car there's this cage of metal bars which is in the roof which is behind you and uh, in the side. One of the things it does is when you accidentally flipped over it prevents the roof from crashing on your head. How is the car? The car is uh, not uh, very well. Power? Uh, power is okay but uh, uh, we try in this training and see what happens and if not he will uh, yeah. We will change some more parts. We will change uh, the See, engine. Change the engine and the car, maybe. Ah, oh, this, this is this is shit, man. There's a guy, a uh, younger boy, standing there crying. And I guess he was the driver of the crashed car. And he's not happy. Now he will lose his chance of being a Formula One driver. Too bad. Ah, shit happens. The crash of the, the, the car was so heavy that uh, there's so much uh, mess on the track and they need a lot of time now to get the car away and to clean the track up. So uh, the training session will be ended, which means no uh, training time for me. I will start later on in the qualification. Well, the car didn't uh, drive uh, very well, so we're checking if we can find something. But it looks uh, very complex. No, it's just registration of, of the... Yeah, the date of the car. A lot of people crashed already in the, in the training session, so uh, I think it will be a, a crashy day uh, today. Uh, that's my feeling. But first, we wanna, yeah, we have to try to um, see where the car uh, has some problems because it doesn't feel really work very well. Important with racing to to, uh, to make your plan before you start to race. I mean, you can just drive around the circuit and do your laps, but. You know, that won't improve yourself. Um, I'm Heim Koopman from uh, the owner of uh, Koopman Racing. Our, uh, it's our team and we have a lot of customers for, uh, to drive uh, a lot of race series and we have a lot of uh, rent cars for uh, normal uh, track days. We've been racing for almost 10 years now and this is Robert's second season with us. We don't want to put too much pressure on him for today, but um, last year he won this race for us at the track, so uh, uh, well, big things are expected of Robert today, and uh, we hope he can live up to them and, uh, and handle the pressure and uh, make uh, to his status as, uh, as our number one talented driver. So um, let's wait and see. Um, we had some little trouble in practice, but uh, things are looking up for the race. The guys are hard at work downstairs, the mechanics, and. Uh, 
well, we have every confidence that uh, Robert's going to get a great result today. I always yeah. put on some music when I go oh, to the circuit. So, uh, so uh, uh, just to get my, you know, get rid of the tension and to get myself uh, pumped up and ready for it. And it's always heavy stuff. It's uh, mostly American, uh, like corn, uh, three days grace. It's very, yeah. And currently we're also working, of course, on the album. So I'm also listening to the demos, to the more heavy tracks. And uh, especially because this album is going to be, there's going to be songs on there which are really energetic. I think the most energetic songs we've ever written. So, you know, of course I picked those. But, uh, yeah, the heavy shit. Well, the race is not done yet, but we are done. Yeah, so I think we're gonna go uh, bicycling or something like that, or walking, skiing. But this is now we're gonna buy a bomb and put yeah. it in the car, and then <laughs> we're really, really angry. We only had problems not with ourselves, but with our car again. And we yes. think we're gonna quit. No, we never quit. No, with car driving. Only the good are young, we're not good. <laughs> uh, Alright, this was the race. The end was uh, too soon for me, because uh, my car broke down. But it was, very, it was really a fun race, I enjoyed myself still a lot. The next race will be in a month, in October, and it will be in a Dutch town called Assen. It's the TT circuit in Assen, which is very famous for rotor cycling races. But we also drive our car races there. Well, hope you're there again. We can have a nice report and a better result. Cheers for that.